is the final game of the 2021-2022 Premier League season as Tottenham make the trip to East Anglia to take on Norwich in a massive game for Tottenham. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today, welcome to the final match day preview of the season. I know today it is the last day of the season, what a season it's been. And yeah, you know, it's the last day of the season today, the final match day preview of the season. But hopefully the 22-23 season will bring, hopefully, as good as it was this season. But obviously today we are playing Norwich away, you know, we're playing an already relegated team. But it is a massive game for us. If we draw or win, we will be in the Champions League next season. We cannot lose. If we lose an Arsenal win, that means we are playing Europa League next season. So... It kind of is a big game, but, you know, we are playing Norwich, so hopefully it should be quite an easy game. But to be fair, Burnley did give us a good game, um, but, you know, I'm not sure Norwich will be really bothered about the, their performance, you know, they're relegated. Um, but anyway, smash that subscribe, let's get into the video. Right, then, so let's have a look at the form coming into today's game at Carrow Road. So let's start with Tottenham, so we have a win, win, draw, win, draw, loss. Wait, win, win, draw, win. Loss, no draw. Loss. Oh yeah, um. So we are. So we've only lost one game in our la in our last five, and that was the game against Brighton, which I went to, which was quite sad. Um, but you know we haven't lost in five games. You know we've won three and drawn two. We obviously we drew against Brentford and Liverpool, and winning against Leicester, Arsenal, and Burnley. So our form's looking quite decent. Looking at Norwich, you probably know what it is. Um, so Norwich, their last six games are a draw, loss, loss. Loss, loss, loss. So no wins in the last six games for Norwich. And, uh, you know, last time they won, it was at home. It was on the 10th of April against Burnley. I remember watching that game. Goals from Les Mulu and Puki won Norwich that game. Um, but it's ever since that game against Burnley, it's just been disappointing for Norwich, you know. Five losses and a draw. To be fair, a draw against Wolves is good. You know, a draw against Wolves is good. Um, but, yeah. Alright then, so what is my score prediction coming into today's game at Carrow Road in Norwich, East Anglia? To be honest, I am quite confident, I'm not going to lie, you know, we're playing Norwich, um, who are already relegated, they have nothing to play for, um, but you know, we do have something to play for. If we draw today, even a draw is enough for us to finish fourth and play in next season's Champions League. Um, but we kind of do want Everton to do us a favour. Even if Everton get a point, it's still good enough for us. Um, like, you know, if we... Yeah. Well, to be honest, if we lose an Arsenal draw, we still are in the Champions League. Because even though we've lost, Arsenal haven't won. Arsenal can only finish fourth if we lose and they win. So even if we lose an Arsenal draw against Everton today. Um so and that means we will probably finish fourth anyway. Um but to be honest, I know we're missing quite some big players. Um but I think we'll still get the job done. I know will Norwich be up for it? I don't think so, I'm not gonna lie. Um I'm gonna say three 0 Tottenham and I think we'll be playing in the Champions League next season. Romans, let's have a look at the players to look out for. Let's start with Spurs. And for any Norwich fans watching, I think these are the players you need to keep an eye on. I think Davison Sanchez for me. Um, against Arsenal, against Burnley, he did very well in those two games. Um, I think another player that did well, I think... Um, to be honest, it's, been, it's felt like so long since we last played a game. It's felt like ages. Um, I think... I'm just trying to remember... I think Bentancur, if I remember, I think he had a decent game against Burnley. And you know, I think Kane had a good game as well. Um, obviously, for scoring that important goal. Um, but yeah, and uh, for Norwich, um, I think we probably need to maybe try and keep Les Moulier quiet. I think he's quite a decent player. Um, maybe um, Aaron's as well got an assist. Maybe Puki, he did score. He scored a, he scored a few goals. This season for Norwich, so I think those are probably the main players. So yeah, right then. So this is my predicted lineup for the last time this season. Um, so this is my predicted lineup to take on Norwich today at Carroll Road. 
So I think it'll be Hugo Lloris, the starting goal. Sanchez, Dyer and Davis in a back three. Emerson, Hoiberg, Bentancur and Sessegnon in the midfield. Um, Kulisevsky and Son as the two cams and Harry Kane up front. Um, I think it'll be the same team that played against Arsenal and, well, Mora actually started against Burnley. Uh, Mora actually started against Burnley, so I think it'll be one change. I know Kulisevsky wasn't feeling well, um, but I think there'll be one change and I think Kulisevsky will come back in to replace Mora. So, yeah. Uh, my predictive lineup is Lloris, Sanchez, Dyer, Davis, Emerson, Hoybier, Bentoncourt, Sessignon, Kulisevsky, Son and Kane. Um, go subscribe to a few Norwich um, people that I know. Go subscribe to Jacob. Subscribe to Noah. Um, I'll put their I'll put their um descript I'll put their channels in the comments. Well, not in the comments. I'll put it in the description down below. So go subscribe to them. They'll probably be at the game today, so you can watch their vlog. Or maybe like George Killiers or someone, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, smash like, subscribe. And uh, the Premier League predictions, there's two guests today for that. And I'll, I'm will i not going to say who, but, and, um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Come on, you Spurs, let's secure that fourth place.